Spanish farmers currently pay 50% of their income for irrigation. How would the life of a farmer change if there was a pump that doesn't cost anything to be operated? At Akista, we asked ourselves this question three years ago, and we developed the high pump to tackle these challenges and save up to 70% of the cost compared to conventional pumping systems. The high pump is efficient because it utilizes hydropower that is freely available in flowing irrigation canals or rivers. This means that we don't rely on fossil fuel or electricity to power the pumping mechanism, but that we use the freely available kinetic energy of the water that's already flowing in the canal system. This makes it a cost competitive alternative to the currently available pumping techniques that are out there. Basically, the high pump is a big water wheel that uses the natural energy of the river to make the water wheel spin. And by spinning, it will drive a pump that will suck the water from the same river. It starts from the canal. We have the water wheel on one side, and on the other side we have the weir. And then it's taken to a side basin, so a tank of water, where we can filter the water to avoid that there would be some dirt going into the pump and therefore to the field. After this, it goes to the pump, and then it goes through some valves that are able to regulate the system, also to measure. We want to measure the flow rate, we want to measure the pressure, and so on. By bringing it to an elevated reservoir where we collect it, we can have enough pressure then to irrigate back to a field which is also lower. This reservoir is 30 meters higher than the pump and 860 meters further away in terms of horizontal distance. Imagine it as a big battery where depending on the irrigation needs, uh, we can withdraw more or less water. This pump will be irrigating in total uh, 20 hectares. A football pitch, which is quite something that everyone can relate to, is around half a hectare. So in total, we could do around 40 football pitches of crops irrigated. Akista High Pump app will allow the user or the operator of the high pump to not only monitor how the system is performing, but also to control it directly using a smartphone or a desktop computer. We are able to adjust the water wheel itself, and then we can couple it to whatever type of pump uh, the customer would want. In terms of pressure and flow rate, the user can get almost anything. The limiting factor will be the power that is simply in the canal. So as long as the canal has enough power, then we will be able to propel the pump. The one I've been working on uh, pumps about 450,000 liters uh, per day. The next version pump 800,000 liters per day. We have implemented the first two high pumps in Spain and right now we are preparing for the further industrialization of this technology. That means that we're looking at what are the good things, what are the things that could be more efficient and we're now planning out the development trajectory for the coming years to be able to supply this technology broadly and to scale it globally. Energy efficient irrigation, so especially for renewable based pumping system is subsidized by the government. In hardly any country, the cost of energy is also subsidized. So that's where the farmers have to pay. And that's why the high pump has a very strong value proposition, because on the one hand, it subsidized the initial investment, and on the other hand, it also pays back for the customer as it has virtually no operating cost. So what is more reliable than the natural flow of a river or a canal? Well, in the same way, the high pump can be the most reliable solution for you because you will match perfectly your irrigation needs because they're related to this flow. When you see it turning in the field, it's quite magical, like a waterfall, and now the waterfall is actually working for you. And the trick will be to make sure that that conversion is so cheap that it can be used always. It does mean that all that energy can be harvested. I think that agriculture and food chain is the foundation and base of our civilization. So if we can make this more green and sustainable and more responsible, I think we are on the right path to make a world better for the future. <laughs>